Hey neighbors, it's Ryan with The Smart House, and today I'm coming to you from CES 2025, day one. I'm at the Motion booth, thinking about all the new products that they've got coming out. So I'll let John kind of get a quick introduction of the products that they've got at this year's ES. Okay, I'm John Sloan. I'm the regional sales manager in the Southeast US, living in Atlanta, Georgia. What we have here at the show is four different series of products, applications in your yard. We've got the Luba 2 series that you see coming around the track here. It's designed for yards that are more complicated with slopes and ditches and things like that that need all-wheel drive. So on, what's the major differences on the new version of the Luba 2? The version of the Luba 2 has got a bigger battery, okay. so longer run time. It also has six blades on the cutting disc instead of four. Yeah, it's got a total of 12 blades underneath it, so it'll cut quicker, it uses the battery less, it'll last oh, wow. longer, it's more reliable. So, especially on, on thick yards where there's a pretty heavy load under there, it takes it takes a little yeah, bit more power to sure. cut some of those. Great. And then, uh, is it got, uh, the bigger model, does it go bigger than the two and a half acres? That's still the limit right now. That's the limit right now. Okay, okay so it's still that just is. more efficient, you can run longer, uh, but the same size, district, same size. Uh, Correct. Also. Correct. Great. The other product we have here in the middle is, is the Yucca series. It has a lawn sweeper kit on it. It's designed for simpler flat yards, but it will also pick up debris like leaves and twigs and grass clippings and those kind of things. The new product we have this year is the Yucca Mini Series that you see over here. And it's similar to the Yucca Series, it's just a lower price point. And that one does not have a sweeper on it. Right? It does you not have, okay. no, you can't put a sweeper kit on it. It's too small a, a payload on yeah. it, to be honest. It'd be cute though. It's got, a, it's got the price point on it starts at $899. Oh, wow. So it allows people to enter into this without paying as much for these other products. What's the uh, size constraints on, on the Mini? Um, it's really designed for like under a quarter of acre lot. Okay. That's Something you see in these master plan communities, these several average. lots. A lot of folks in my neighborhood would have about that size of yeah. yard. And so that's very attractive for them because they see the price point on like the all wheel drive model and they think, oh man, that's kind of. Well, it's $28.99. It's not outrageous, no. but. It's just like a you know people don't buy a zero turn for a, a lot that size no, either. They buy a push mower. Well, people in my neighborhood actually do. So <laughs> a little excessive. Gotcha. I get that. They also debuted the Luba All Wheel Drive Mini. And then on the Luba the the Luba All Wheel Drive Mini, what's the price point on that? That starts at fifteen hundred dollars. Fifteen hundred dollars. And then yeah. what's the acreage? Is it about the same for the? Um, it's made for a quarter of acre too. The difference okay. in the Luba Luba Two and the Yuka is really its ability to climb. It's okay. got four wheel drive traction on the front. And so those with really hilly yards. Hilly yards where you see them getting stuck in those kind of places, you know, or even moisture. You know, yeah. if you have places that hold moisture, it'll plow through that kind of thing. That's awesome. The last product we have that we're just introducing is this pool cleaner product. Um, this is the first time it's seen by the public here. So that's, that, that's new to all of us right now. As of right now, we don't have a lot of details on the pool cleaners, but more information should be coming out in the following weeks. A big thank you to John for walking us through the lineup. But the booth here at CES had so many more things to offer. Let me show you some of the other highlights that really caught my eye. In the back of the booth, they had a deconstructed Luba 2 X series up on the wall that showcased all the parts that make it tick. Seeing all the inner workings up close really drives home how far they've come in the last few years. They also showed off the new solar powered add-on for the RTK base station and the wall mount. For all three of the new mowers, there was one big thing John didn't mention, and it's the new UltraSense AI vision system. This will allow you to automatically map your lawn and not need to drive the robot around your property. It also improves obstacle detection, even under low GPS conditions. And it's designed to handle over 100 types of objects, making it smarter and safer than ever. They've also enhanced the camera on the Luba 2X to improve low light visibility, and added a small light to assist that last little bit of mowing after sunset. The Luba 2X series also has brand new 165 watt motors to support the new blades. That's double the power of the original Luba 2. Plus the Luba and Yuka Mini both have the ability to replace the battery. Also, all three mowers list that they include new 4G modules that include one year of service. So your mower stays connected even in the back corner of your yard. The Luba 2 X series is scheduled to ship around March of this year. The minis are actually available right now. If you wanna check out the specs or pre-order them, check out the links in the description below. Another big thank you goes out to the team at Momotion and stay tuned for more CES 2025 videos.